that. So it's been right up to the uh, top of the beach here. A little less windy, which is good. Yeah, this is all heat clay, so you know, sometimes it can uh, wash a bit of stuff out. Not nodule. Ah, look at that. You can see a very small bit of uh, partial amalfias sticking out of the cliff. Lovely pipe of steel. There's another bit there. Yeah. Probably more bits in here. Just to show you that they're there. There's another bit there, look, is that one complete? Let's have a look. Ease it out. No, it's just an outer whirl. Uh, I don't think any of these are complete in the clear to be honest. Some mighty big waves. Every time I turn the camera on, they go small. <laughs> that looks a decent one though. Oh, that looks a big one rolling in now. That is a big one. That's a huge one. Oh. Ah, oh, well, there we go. Look. There's uh, Malpheus. Just in there. A lot of it's worn away, that, unfortunately. Might have a little chisel. You never know. I always never know if there's more in there. Always good to look at these blocks and see what's there. Unfortunately, I think most of that, most of that's gone, it's going to be about that big. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that one, I think. And there could be another little in there. You never know. And that looks like a Amalfius just in there. Possibly. So, yeah, could be good. Might give that a chisel, more likely to be an outer whirl. Now well, we've made it to the section where the rocks we want are located. There's still lots of sea. At least we can get round now. It was coming right up to here. So yeah, we've got a, a little section we can start looking through. Hopefully find one or two rocks. Alright. So we'll get lucky and see if we can find some. Remains of an Amalfius just here, which is a bit of a shame. It's not all there by the looks of it. Come out, bloody thing. Yeah, not all there, that's a shame really. But uh, I might just put a chisel in and see if there's any more in there, because sometimes, sometimes there can be. Could have been a big one though, actually, but. Yeah, shame that's a mind. Oh, well, I was just clouting this negative here, which could be a big ammonite. Oh, look, another look at this one, and then just saw this here. Look at that. Ah. Oh, it's got a bit of damage to it, but <laughs> lovely lithosaurus. Nice. Just have to get that a bit smaller, and hopefully, it's all in there. Beautiful. There's the remains of a big pinner shell, big bivalve. Look at that, that would have been a beastie. Not complete. And this just uh, picked up. I'll leave that on a rock for others to see because it's not complete. 
but yeah, nice if you find a full one. Oh, oh, I managed to break my selfie stick, which is a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, first delivery of ammonites to the car. Not bad. So we got three lithosterous, one small one. I did hit it again and just split it. It's got a nice little middle, should be okay. Uh, a beach worn one, which again, should be nice in the middle, it's a nice size. And then, uh, yeah, a pristine one, which Andy spotted and didn't want, so I've uh, chiseled down to make a bit smaller. So, yeah. Back towards the beach. I used to slip on the rocks and uh, went for a right uh, six actually, which uh, is no mean feat when you've got uh, four stone of uh, rock on your back. So, I might be hobbling a little bit for this second run. But, yeah, it's on fire, is heap. Three, right, three light osseruses is uh, very, very good going. So, there may be more, yeah. There could be a Malpheus and all sorts of other stuff. So, yeah, we'll see what the guys have found when I get up to meeting them and uh, yeah see if we can find some more stuff back on the way out there now the tide's gone out a bit and it's still raging but it's not as bad as it was oh right we get cracking right we're back on the beach now the wind has eased a little bit around here so it's a bit nicer to do a bit of filming and the, the rain has gone for the time being it's been quite wet so yeah just having a look through these ones now these were covered over when uh, we came this way to start with so never know what might have been uncovered we're just at low tide so we won't be spending a long long time here now with that uh, sea although the waves look to have reduced a little bit so it might be all right yeah I think uh, certainly uh, Won't be leaving it until last minute to get off the beach, that's for certain. Uh, see, it's a pretty impressive cliff. It's, uh, the cliffs here, we get frequent landslides. It's very, very, very slippy as eat play. Uh, so the, uh, the grey stuff you see there is the eat play. So yeah, within that eat play, there are different layers. And there is one layer, which is the Margaritata stone. So it's this uh, bluey, uh, sort of orange kind of coloured stone. And yeah, that's the blocks that we're really looking for, for uh, the Pleiades back in age ammonites. So Mar Margaritatus is the zone. And we get uh, Amalthius Margaritatus and we get Lytosaurus Versicrinatum, I think it is, in this particular layer. Uh, along with gastropods and other bits and pieces. Uh, very rare nautiluses, I think, as well. Very rare. Uh, we also do get uh, the, uh, the junction bed, which is uh, similar to what you get at Illminster, condensed bed of Tawarshan ammonites. Tawarshan ammonites are the ones we get in Yorkshire most plentifully. And that's quite pink, is that material. You can get Hildoceros, Dactyloceros, Harposeros, all sorts of stuff in that. Uh, entirety of uh, North Yorkshire is almost condensed into uh, a bed about a foot deep <laughs> so these stones are incredibly slippy so that's where I did a Burton over there uh, <laughs> with a backpack full of fossils so yeah my uh, hip is a little bit sore when I bash myself oh. so yeah I'm usually looking for Malpheus keels which uh, long and narrow but it's quite easy to confuse them with bellum knights. So you think you've got an Amalfius and it happens to be a bellum knight. They're quite plentiful in these rocks as well. Yeah, it's a case of picking your way through the rocks, keeping your eyes open for anything that looks like it could be an ammonite. Sometimes it is the very faintest of marks that just gives away the fact there's an ammonite there. Ooh. And if there is an ammonite in there, even if it's worn, it's worth taking the block apart because quite often there are associations there's more than one in there as we uh, proved with the uh, small lithosaurus earlier on there's a mushed up keel of a, a Malpheus 
uh, and yeah when I started tapping it there's a, a small lithosaurus in there so yeah all good stuff I'm gonna try to pick my way through this without going in the slippy bits there's always like a zone where it's uh, the slippiest and, and I think I'm in it oh get a bit further further towards the sea might get a little less so yeah that's better must be more snails eating it here so yeah Press on a little bit. Doesn't look to be that many interesting blocks on this bit. I think once we get past that point, it's usually a bit more interesting. Nice uh, bit of hypocrisy imprint there. So that's probably the uh, equivalent of the jet rock down in Yorkshire. I don't think I can get that out though, it's pinned with this big boulder. So you never know, there could be more in it, but yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get that shifted. Yeah, they, they do preserve okay to the Harpocerus here. Uh, whereas the, uh, the Dax and Hildes tend to be a bit rubbish. Uh, but yeah, just looking in this pink, this pink layer, quite often there is uh, quite a lot of ammonites. Again, more of it here. So, Ooh. What we found there. Oh, that's going to be nice, isn't it? Yeah. Just poking out. Just how you want to find them, isn't it? It is how yeah. you want to find them, yeah. yeah. No damage yes. at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got the other bit we can stick back on and prep down to the gastropod. Nice. And then... Oh, and, and there's there a is little subnosis sub on the back. Subnodosis on the back. Yeah. Oh, fantastic block. Oh, that's so very nice, isn't it? we can prep it all from that side. We'll have him, the gastropod, we can prep from that side. Yeah, yeah. All on the, hopefully all on the same piece. And then that one there. That, that is... He looks quite big. It's going to be a superb one, Couldn't isn't it? Couldn't resist that one. No, no. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, well, that's brilliant. Yeah, so we've, so had we've a all had a good day. Good, good day. Yeah. And there's a lovely junction bed ammonite look. Looks like some sort of hildoceros. Yeah, it's poking out there. Yeah, it's another one, little in there. Do get a lot of small ones in this, uh, this bed for some reason. Yeah, it's all junction bed stuff. Yeah, there's another, another keel poking there, a little tiny one. So yeah, not going to collect that though because the quality of them is not brilliant, but uh, they're nice to see. Yeah, if there's nothing else, it's uh, good to see a few fossils on the beach. Plenty of this material around. It's very, very pinky orange sort of colour. So yeah, yeah, heading back now. Uh, as per usual, I've come out with a, an empty bag for a second time, and uh, as what normally happens is uh, I don't fill it. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> should have learnt by now not to bother. Go somewhere else. Yeah, just looking around, see if we see anything else in these rocks. You never know. Sometimes it's uh, it's easy to miss something. The tide's already starting to come in, so we need to get uh, get moving. Okay, I think we're about done here at uh, Eep today. It's been a really good day. We've had some fantastic finds. Those cliffs up there look proper, proper impressive. I'm sure there's going to be some more falls before the end of the year. I oh, just spotted this rock here. Seems to have a lot in it, and. Uh, what well, I thought was a, an ammonite wasn't actually, it was a clast, but there's a lovely little Amalfius in there. So, yeah, calcite Amalfius, should be quite nice. Cool. day from Eep at all so yeah lovely Lytoceros in this block here a little bit worn on the keel but I'm sure that could be sorted there could also be some other stuff in this block as well I um, don't know what it is yet until it's prepped but there could be another Amalfius in there so yeah that's gonna be a nice one we've got another little Lyto here again it's only gonna be a small one I think and um, this outer whirl but uh, should be nice Lovely little Amalfius. Uh, another Amalfius in here. Again, it's a little bit worn, so um, 
yeah it may have to be made smaller if it's all there but you never know and then this lovely litoceros so this one is going to go to be a trevor prep again looks like it's going to be going to be nice plenty of keel in here it's a nice junky one so yeah this one's for trevor's shelf and um, yeah hopefully we'll get a prep video out of it as well so yeah should be interesting some good stuff ah, farmer's brewery the river is uh, well and truly gushing at the moment the old water wheel not working <laughs> yeah Uh, see all the beer barrels, Farmer's Brewery, uh, Bridport, yeah, there's uh, a fair bit of water coming down. This is the Farmer's Brewery Fish Pass. There you go, so, might have a look in there in a minute. You know, get some snacks in Morrison's, and then uh, might go for a beer in there and see what it's like. So here at Farmer's Brewery a nice little stop off after uh, fossil hunting and uh, I've been very kindly given uh, a selection of beers to try some fantastic ones so the IPA very nice Dorset Gold very nice Farmer's Gold better Tally Ho fantastic so yeah I think we had Dorset Pale as well which was very nice so yeah uh, but that Tally Ho definitely recommended fantastic shop unfortunately we missed the brewery tours so uh, it's weekdays only, so uh, we'll have to come back. Yeah, some really good selection of alcohols, some great ports in the corner that I spied, and uh, some really good beers. So yeah, if you get a chance to come down to uh, Palmer's Brewery.